Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with an Archer Olive haul, um, or Happy Meal, however you want to say it. Um, it's not huge, but it's fun. And so I thought I would also share with you, I got this expanding um, pen case holder years ago at um, Erin Condren in Austin. And I was up there and I just thought, oh yeah, did I order it or did I buy it there? I can't remember. I know I saw it there <laughs> and I just went, Woo, my eyes, Google eyes. So anyways, I'm going to see if I have room. I, I didn't even check before I sat down. I think I can move that out. And let me see what's in the bottom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I am excited because, oh, gosh, there's almost nothing in there. <laughs> that worked out perfect. Okay. So I have ordered Archer and Olive pins before, and I have to be honest they were too wide. I did not like how wide they were. So I'm going to grab a little sticky note and we're just going to play. Um, because um, if not, I have a gorgeous daughter-in-law who might enjoy these. So this is the, oh goodness, Pipa's Art Ac uh, Acrylograph. So these are the 0.7 millimeter tip. So, I really should have white. Let me see if I have white. Yeah, I got a white. All right, here. I will just take the bottom half of that. And, all right, here we go. Let's do it on a piece of white. Um, I, it, if you can hear the wind, I'm taping today, and it is just blustery. So, so these are the .7, so they're pretty fine tip. I just want to see, and I should have done this before. I haven't even opened any of these. This one's still, sh you know, in shrink wrap, but they're coming down pretty quick. I mean, I have even seen um, Diane Reevely use them. So I am going to, see oh yeah, no, that is perfect. Okay, guys, I, this is the tip. This is the tip I wanted. I think I ended up with, I don't know what I ended up with the other one. Okay. So I wanted to see if they've got color names in here. It doesn't, let me see. So that one was, uh, 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 it doesn't say. And I think Pippa is a gal on YouTube and that's how I saw this. So, um, yeah, that is so pretty. And these are really beautiful. I felt like they were autumn colors and I thought, ah, oh, and truth be known, I've had them sitting here for probably a couple of weeks but nothing major you know i've just had so much going on um just like you guys we just have so much happening and um you know got a baby that one's really pretty that's very very fall-esque um but we have and these are water-based acrylic non-toxic pins so but we've got everything about figured out for the baby shower um we just got paid today, so I'm going to go ahead and order, put my order in. And that one is almost like, it's it's kind of like a dusty rose, but with a, I don't know, it's got a little bit more orange in it. It's almost like a coral. And then this one looks to be like a cream or a, you know, that one kind of looks light, like a light butternut. But I'm getting ready to put an order in and order um, things, whoops, for our baby shower we're gonna hold so that is really faint but it'll be perfect for projects so all right I'm not even gonna keep this because they're gonna go straight in here so I just want to show you and these kind of things um, I take them apart see if there's something I can use off of it you know that kind of a thing and then these I definitely use these boxes I love these boxes these are some of my favorite boxes even though this one was kind of damaged I still I will use it um, and I will show you when I get through how I use these gorgeous, gorgeous boxes. Um, they really are nice size boxes. They're beautifully made. Um, I mean, they really have done a nice job on them. So, okay, I'm getting there. Oh, hang with me. So this is the, oh, oh, this is the sketchbook. Oh, that's right, because this was a kit. I forgot that. Oh, I love this. I'm, I'm really super happy about this. <laughs> I was thinking I, because I looked at a lot of different color pens and anyways, but I just figured I'd order the small set and then kind of go from there. So look at this sketch book. Guys, I'm not going to say this was a super 
bargain. I did get a discount code. Um, um, you know, it was a treat. And we were just going through lots of stuff. And I decided that I needed a place for me to play. And I've got tons of stuff that I've, you know, repurposed, I've used, I've put together. Um, but I just thought, I just love this. And she's dark haired. You know, I have dark hair that I make red. <laughs> And then it just, it's just very dreamy, I thought, and it looks like fun. So I'm excited. I also wanted to support this sweet gal. She gives you a hello. Her name is Pippa, and feel free to use this space to draw, doodle just for yourself. And she gives you ideas that you can do within your, your sketchbook. So, um, again, I, I don't know that I've ever seen, it came in probably an email. I don't know that I've ever seen her channel. On YouTube but gorgeous gorgeous I don't know if you can see but I will show you in a minute the edge of the paper is done oh, the paper itself is just dreamy and it'll definitely withstand the pins but look at that it's a holograph edge isn't that fun so anyways this is just a quick haul from um, uh, Archer and Olive and of course you know the pins that were in this were with that but now I'm going to show you what I do how I use these wonderful boxes. Hold on. <laughs> so I got one more of my little things from uh, from Amazon. So what I thought I would do, I'm going to move this out of the way and um, show you guys what I do. Can you hear my birds? Oh, you know what happened? I turned the TV kind of, I had it on for them to make them happy. <laughs> they don't like windy days either. But what I do is I take each one of these, and these are some things that I have from the, um, oh, Cottage Fairy. Oh, goodness. How can I not? It's Paola, but I'm trying to think of the name of her shop. Okay, and I've shared all these with you, but I've saved them for a special project. But here's how I have been putting. Oh, here it is. Her shop is, and it doesn't say on here. Okay, God love her. Okay, I'll try to find that link. But I've been putting them in like this. So, I literally, I'm going to take this paper out. And you know, I'll use that somewhere, so I'll save it. And I've been just basically putting these in. Um, well, first let me move this, and that will help. And then I'll show you how I do. We'll put that one on top. So, um, hmm. Trying to decide, yeah. Nope, I am going, actually, I'm gonna go back to this paper and then that'll save it for me too. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so I get them and I put them in and then I trim them off and I fold them and it keeps each one separate. So, and I just, I go back and forth so one side isn't, you know, thicker than the other. And yeah, it's worked really well. Um, not sure. Oh, Cottage Fairy. It is the Cottage Fairy Art. Cottage Fairy Art. So, she has a phenomenal channel on YouTube. A very talented, sweet young girl. And, um, and I have a plan for all that. Um, so that's why I'm keeping that separate. And so, I, like I said, I keep these boxes and I keep using them. So here's how I did. I won't have to do this one. The other ones, I would trim the side. So, but this one I'm not going to need to. And this one I already shared with you guys in the Amazon haul. So this was just a straggler. Showed up later. No big deal. And these kits are 60 pieces. They are amazing. So, um... You know, and these are things to kind of have around. If you have grandchildren, they come over. You know, that kind of a thing. So, I am, that's another thing. I'm glad I'm doing this. So, when my granddaughters, and hopefully grandsons someday, <laughs> we'll get some boys in there, come over and they want to do art or play or whatever, I can pull out things like this. They're not very expensive and they can have fun. So, and I have these winter all the way through to fall. And so... Love it. Um, it's year-round seasons. Now, look at how perfectly it stores this. Whoops, I'll do it that way. And there you go. So, all right, friends. Again, absolutely love this. Um, you saw the pins that came with this. Absolutely loved it. 
and um, I have my my Erin Condren it's set up to go when we travel and I've got this and that and I'm good to go um, I could even take the well these and that and I'll be totally happy I mean seriously wouldn't that be fun just to sit and work on it and then on this last one let me show you on this one I have hold on let me make sure oh I have a lot of my um, DEK kits Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um I had wondered where I put those and now I remember. So <laughs> but these are for memory keeping. That's why I put these in here. They are for memory keeping. So all right, friends. And again, you could use that, your DEK kits, um, with your your new um journal and how much fun would that be? And of course, I mean the number one takeaway off of this is you know what I want. I want that. I want that little thing right there. Is the main thing I'm going to say about that. Besides the inside is all that holograph. How much fun is that? All right, friends. I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this was a very sweet young lady with a brand new um, uh, kind of combination with um, Archer and Olive. And Archer and Olive, they're, I didn't even have to think twice. Their journals are phenomenal. Um, I have a couple of them right there that I use. So... They're just phenomenal. This was a no-brainer. This goes straight into the RV, and it will just be in my art bag. So, okay, friends. Y'all have a great day. Love y'all. Be safe. And um, I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what was your favorite. And, um, and if you've tried these pins before, okay? All right, friends. I'll be talking to you soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.